Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. As usual, I'm Tanver, and if you're in the process of upgrading your computer storage and you found out that you have no more NVMe slots left, or if you're in an older motherboard system that has no NVMe slot at all, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll be showing you how can you upgrade to an NVMe storage even though if you have no NVMe slots available. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, the first of all, what do you need to check is in on your motherboard do you have any pci express 4 slots available so if you uh ne have never seen the pci express 4 slot it looks like this the uh third one from the left it's just a little bigger than the pci express 1 slot the one is right here uh, a lot of the older motherboard uh even some newer motherboard don't have the pci express 4 so in case if you don't have the pci express 4 slot the next thing you want to check, the PCI Express 16 slots. All motherboards have PCI Express 16 slots. Uh, the, the one that you use for your graphics card. But what do you have to check? Do you have an extra one? Okay, so one of the PCI Express 16 slots you will use for your graphics card. So if you have an extra one, so then you are in business. If you have either PCI Express 4 or one extra PCI Express 16 slots available, you can upgrade. So, uh, and you also have one, must have one uh, empty SATA port available uh, for upgrade as well. Okay, now you have to gather all the necessary parts. Uh, first of all, you need an NVMe uh, M.2 SSD adapter. Uh, these are uh, PCI Express 4 compatible, but you can also insert them in PCI Express 16 slots. No problem with that. And... These things come with two slots, uh, but unfortunately only the bottom slot is the real NVMe slots. The one on the top, that's not an NVMe slot. Even though it looks like one, it's not. It's an M.2 SATA slot. So for this adapter, you need to get... So if you want to use both of these slots, you need to get two different kind of SSD. One is the NVMe SSD with the M key, and another one is uh, uh, M.2 SATA SSD with M key and B key. I mean, these... Uh, M.2 SATA SSD is not as fast as NVMe, but still they're plenty fast. And you are still upgrading your storage, so should be a win-win. And you also need a SATA cable, and you must have in one uh, empty SATA port available in your motherboard. Okay, and this is the complete setup for me. That's what I did. Uh, you can see I did not have any... PCI Express 4 slots, so I kind of plugged into my PCI Express 16 slots uh, that I had available. I had two, so I used uh, one of the PCI Express 16 slots. You can see the slot is pretty big, but I was able to insert the PCI Express 4 in the PCI Express 16, and it works just fine. And the one in the bottom is the NVMe drive, the black one. And the one on the top with the SP silicon power, that's the M.2 SATA drive. And I also had to plug in an uh, a SATA cable here. And the other end of the SATA cable needs to be inserted into your SATA port, the picture on the bottom. Okay, and once you have this set up, you're kind of good to go. Now you just have to set it up in the software. Uh, and to set it up in the software, all you got to do, just uh, I'm going to show you, press your, just press your Windows key here. And you're going to do, uh, type in create uh, and format disk partition. You want to click that. Okay, so once you click that, it's going to like pop in window. Uh, it's going to, it's going to tell you, you must initialize the disk before uh, you can access it. So you just want to initialize it. Just click OK. And after you click OK, it's going to initialize the drive. And then you want to scroll down and select that drive. It's going to be like this uh, unallocated. It's going to be like all black like that, not, not blue like this here. Uh, it's going to be black like that. And you want to right click on that. And you want to click a uh, new simple volume. So once you do that, uh, it's just click next and next. And, you know, you want to assign a drive later and you want to assign and you want to select the file system. And if you want to give it a name, you can give it a name in volume level. And finally, you want to click finish and that will conclude your setup. I hope this little video was informative and it helped you out. 
And uh, if you have any kind of question, be sure to put it in the comment section. Uh, I'll try my best to answer those questions. And finally, be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. You have a good day.